What's happening guys, I'm from Taxaurus. Welcome back to another Roundup video where we look at the best budget gaming gear under a certain dollar amount. If you guys remember last time, we took a look at some dope RGB mouse pads and I'll drop a link below if you guys wanna check that out. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at the best budget gaming mice under $20. So I went on Amazon and I bought all the gaming mice under $20 that had high ratings and lots of reviews. So with that said, let's kick off the video with the popular Logitech G300S. So this goes for $20 and it's an optical gaming mouse designed for people with tiny hands. If you guys have large hands like me, do not buy this mouse. It's very uncomfortable. The cool thing about the G300S is the extra buttons on top, which are great for macros. It will take some getting used to, but the software allows you to easily change the functions on there, as well as control the RGB lighting on the side. The mouse is really light, so it's easy to pick up during gaming, but one thing I noticed while using the mouse is that it requires a little more force than usual when clicking, and they're pretty loud too. I do wish they added some type of texture for the scroll wheel because it can get slippery if you have oily or sweaty hands. But other than that, it's a decent mouse for tiny hands. I give it a 3.5. Next up is the popular Red Dragon M601 with over 6,000 reviews. It's going for $12 and it might already be a deal breaker for most people due to the color scheme. It has red accents and red lighting, which can be disabled using their poorly made software. When it comes to comfort, it's not the most ergonomic mouse on the list. It feels very rough due to the texture of the top mouse buttons. And I'm not a fan of the ABS plastic side grips. It's also a very flat mouse, so it's not ideal for claw or finger type grips. Uh, for palm users, however, it's great. What I do like about the mouse are the textures on the side button as well as the scroll wheel. For gaming, it's not bad. It definitely gets the job done. It's very light, it tracks well, and you can actually adjust the weight by removing the rear cover and adjusting the weights that way. Personally, the mouse is light as it is with the entire set on, but the option is there to make it lighter. The feedback on the clicks are also much quieter than the G300S. And for $12, I feel like you really are getting what you pay for. I'm surprised this has a lot of positive reviews on Amazon. My rating on this is a 2.5. Next up is the Hirelli F300, which comes in at $18. I gotta say the lighting on this mouse is pretty cool. There are some noticeable hotspots, but if you keep the color cycling, then it's not that noticeable. There's even a dedicated LED button right next to the DPI button, which lets you cycle through a few different effects. However, you do have more options for lighting through their buggy software. You might experience issues setting up the RGB lighting. I'm hoping they can fix this in an upcoming update because it did not work for me even using two different PCs. Lighting aside, it's very comfortable and the side grips along with the lightweight make it very easy to lift and slide around during gaming. The buttons are very easy to reach, however, I would have liked to see some texture on the scroll wheel, but it's not a big deal considering it does have a rubber type grip on it. I would say this mouse is great for all grip types. It's not too flat or round, however, it is designed for right-handed users only. It's also not loud and the clicks provide great feedback. It's really a shame because I really like this mouse. If it wasn't for the buggy software, I would have given it a higher rating, but for now, it's a solid four for me. Next on the list is another Red Dragon mouse, the M711 Cobra, which is way better than the M601 for several reasons. First off, the design. It's way more comfortable and the software is so much better. There are two DPI buttons on the top to cycle through the sensitivity and the third button controls the RGB effects but you do have more options to tweak the sensitivity and the lighting through the software. The mouse has a nice smooth surface with textured grips all around, including the scroll wheel. The clicks provide great feedback and tracks really well on both cloth and hard surface mouse pads. I really enjoyed my time gaming with this mouse and so far I would say it's the best gaming mouse on the list. I can't find any reason not to give this mouse a five out of five. Well done, Red Dragon. Next up is the cheapest mouse on the list coming in at just $10. This mouse is more on the larger side and it's slightly heavier than the others, but it is still comfortable to use. I'm personally not a fan of this cracked look style that it has going on, and the fact that you can not control the lighting might be a deal breaker as well to some people. So the mouse has a really smooth surface and the grips on the sides combined with the concave design makes it really easy to lift and slide around. I didn't run into any issues while gaming on it. I do like the grip on the scroll wheel, however the side buttons are a bit too high and they're also too thin for my taste. The clicks on the mouse are noticeably louder than the other mice on the list, and it does feel like it requires a little more force as well, just like the G300S from Logitech. I mean, for $10, you can't really ask for much. I don't even know how this company is making money selling this mouse. I give this a solid three out of five. These next two mice from Pictech are very similar in terms of build quality and specs. 
it's got the same DPI and the same sensor. So the mouse on my right hand is actually the newest version and it has a different design and RGB lighting, but for the most part, both the mice feel the same. The newer version of the mouse also happens to be the number one seller on Amazon. They both have a textured grip on the side button and the scroll wheel, which is nice, and they're both very comfortable to use during gaming. They're not that light, but at the same time, they're not heavy as well, making it very easy to lift and slide across the mouse pad. The newer mouse has one extra button on the side, which you can program, and the software is more advanced, giving you more lighting options to choose from. Personally, I like the design of the older mouse better, but the RGB lighting and the software on the newer version is way better. You have more RGB options on the newer mouse compared to the older one. This company over here definitely knows how to make mice. I give both of these a 4.5. Last but not least, we have another Red Dragon mouse. This one is the M602 and it goes for $17. This mouse is the widest one from the list, so it's more catered to people with larger hands. It also has a contour shape to it, so it has these subtle resting points for your thumb and pinky finger on the other side. I have to admit though, it was a little weird coming to this mouse from the others because of the contour shape, so it might take some getting used to, but I did find it comfortable near the end. Despite it being a really light mouse, it's not so easy picking it up because of how wide it is. So I don't recommend it for fast paced games. The scroll wheel has a textured grip to it and so does one of the side buttons to help distinguish the difference. Now there are two things I don't like about this mouse. The red braided cable which defeats the purpose of having an RGB mouse pad in the first place. And once again, the software. It's very buggy and I can't get the RGB lighting to work. Looks like it's stuck on the default rainbow cycle. So if you're looking for a static color, I would look elsewhere. If they changed their cable and they fixed their damn software, I would have given this a 3.5, but for now, it's a solid three. And that does it for my roundup of the best gaming mice under $20. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to toss a like to show your support. And if you didn't, you know what to do. I'll drop a link below, of course, to all the mice featured in this video. Uh, let me know also in the comment section if you guys are planning on picking up any of this gaming mice for yourself. Also, let me know in the comment section if I missed a gaming mouse under $20 that should have been in this video because I might do a follow-up in 2019. Uh, we still got keyboards, headsets, microphones, and gaming monitors coming up, guys, so make sure you're subscribed. I'm done talking. I love your faces. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.